Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two on making this. It's for a wedding. It's rather big. It's 36 by 26. And I just made a video on how to make this. But as promised, I said I would show how I got the grain effect into this to make it look like that. So I just went to the internet and found me a picture of birch plywood, which I'm going to use. All I did was left click, or right, I'm sorry, right click. Don't have to save it, just copy it. Then go into Corel Draw and get your pick tool and right click, paste. Now, whenever Corel pastes, it's going to paste it in the center of the page. And I'm working off the center of the page. So there is our drawing or our graphic. And all I did was I rotated it 90 degrees and then I made it as large as my item is. Now, the, the only thing that's a little bit different than this using the um, clip, uh, I can't even think of the name, power clip, you need to get these blacks and cursor them out of the way so they will not stop the power clip. So we can actually make this a little bit smaller. Doesn't really matter except for it'll be maybe a little clearer. Then you can always move it over your object to make sure it'll fit. And then while that's selected, go up to object and power clip, place inside frame, and do that right there. Then select it all and left click no outline and then you can select your black items and put it back and this is a very good way to show the customer what it's going to look like now if you've noticed my black lines are gone so i'm going to click on my item and i'm going to put it back in the page so now my black lines are visible and if you don't have if you don't have your a little icon for that you, know, you can go to object in order and put to the back of the page. I don't have anything clicked right now, but if you click on something, object, order, front of page, and see that my black lines went away. Well, I've made an icon because I do it so much, but just go to object, order, front of page, or back of page, and then that way your engraved lines show up for the customer to see. And then that's exactly what it would look like. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.